certified most accurate. Now your TV5 first alert forecast. Good afternoon, I'm meteorologist Diane Phillips. Everybody is watching the forecast here this week because it's a big travel holiday coming up in just a few days. So let's step you through the hour by hour forecast where for your Monday, it is easy travel weather. Or if you're staying in town, but you still need to clean up some of those leaves, today is the day to do it. Though we have the cloudy skies, we are not going to be looking at any rainfall for the back half of your Monday. As the clouds do thicken, though, they are going to be setting the stage for the rain to be coming in Tuesday morning. We'll see that just starting to enter our southern counties around 4 or 5 a.m. But then by 7 o'clock when we do still have some students headed off to school, we're doing the morning commute, you'll find that that rainfall starts to push into the Great Lakes Bay region. And also want to know our northern counties. If you're north of US 10, you could have some snowflakes mixing into the forecast. But still the rainfall is going to be the dominant uh, precipitation type within this storm. So that is going to really kind of cut away at any of that snow trying to stick around. The back half of the system is still in place by 5 o'clock. We're seeing that they're trying to make its exit. It finally does as we go into the last few hours of our Tuesday. As you can actually see the center of the storm, it doesn't take very long and that's going to be headed well out of town towards the East Coast. So for those who are getting up dark and early Wednesday morning to hit the road, you're going to find that we do have cloudy skies, but the roadways should be fine because they're going to just continue to dry out. Though the one thing you'll have to worry about is the traffic. The weather, though, will not be an issue for those who are traveling Wednesday evening. Rain totals, considering we're looking at an all-day rain tomorrow are going to be around a half to three quarters of an inch and they're going to be a little bit higher if you're along US 10 and south and even across the thumb. It's a little bit lighter just because we'll have some of that snow that's going to try to cut in a little bit at some of those totals. So that's why you're seeing a little bit of a variation here. As far as the Thanksgiving forecast previewing that we have lower 40s and mid 40s for Wednesday and Thursday dry weather for travel. For those who are doing some turkey day events, maybe you're doing a little bit of running before dinner. You're going to find plenty of sun in the forecast. And Friday, it'll just be a little bit cooler for our shoppers. We'll actually start out in the morning into the mid 20s and we only warm up around 37 degrees, but at least we'll have a mix of clouds and sun, so it'll still be nice outside. Considering that we just have our soggy day on Tuesday, we are going to be spoiled with this holiday forecast. As we go into your weekend, though, the forecast is still mainly quiet, but Sunday night we are going to watch out for a few snow showers into the evening. And of course, we can't rule those out considering those 40s. They do slip down into the mid 30s for highs. Stay with WNEM TV5 on air, on the go, and online for more news and weather updates.